Hello everyone and welcome to Geek Tab. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Hydro Wave by Kyocera. In the box, we have the phone itself. Let's put it aside for a second. We have a SIM card. A quick start guide. A wall adapter. And of course, the USB cable. On the top, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, microphone and power button. On the bottom, there's a micro USB 2.0 port, microphone, and a thumb tab for you to remove the back plate. On the left hand side, you have the volume rockers. The back is made up of plastic. It has pixel patterns on both the sides for grip, and the middle is just smooth matte finish. The primary camera is 5 megapixels with LED flash. It can record up to 720p at 30 frames per second. It has some features such as smile detection, digital zoom, autofocus, geotagging, some shooting modes like burst mode and HDR. At the bottom of the phone, you'll find the speaker grill. Inside you will find a 2300 million power battery. It's non-removable. The SIM and SD card slot, which supports microSD and microSDHC, expandable to 32 gigabytes, and it has a waterproof containment. The dimensions are as follows, 5.6 by 2.84 inches, and the thickness is just at 10.7 millimeters. Weighs in at about 5.11 ounces. It's also IP57, which means it's water and dust proof up to three feet and 30 minutes underwater. Military standard 810G certification, gives it a certain amount of environment proofing. The screen size is a decent 5 inches QHD IPS LCD display that supports multi-touch and also has light and proximity sensors. A screen resolution of 540 by 960 with a PPI of 220 and 66.2% screen to body ratio. The front facing camera is VGA, but it can take up to 2 megapixel photos and videos. Inside is a 1.2 GHz quad-core Snapdragon 400, which is a ARM Cortex-A53 64-bit processor. Multitasking is a breeze, but to a normal extent, and the Adreno 306 graphics chip is good enough for the average game, and the 1 GB of RAM is well appreciated. Bluetooth 4.1 and Wi-Fi 802.11n, 8 GB of internal storage, which ends up being 3 GB after the software takes its share. As mentioned before, an embedded 2300 million power battery should easily get you through a full day as long as you're not a super user, no pun intended. Running the whole show is Android 5.1 Lollipop out of the box. It is a pleasure both visually and performance wise. It's Kyocera's skinned version of Lollipop, but I'm glad to see it's not completely revamped. Manufacturers usually like to revamp it to their liking. As much as I would love the vanilla Android experience, it's not here. But overall, for a budget-friendly smartphone that has LTE, it's not a bad direction to go in, especially if yours leads to a pool party, pun intended. 